Hey guys, Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. This video is going to be all about fixing FPS, lags and stutter in Valorant. So make sure you guys watch this video till the end. This video is going to be dedicatedly for Valorant and this is a one shop stop for you guys. So don't skip any part of this video for better results and also 96% of you guys haven't yet subscribed to the channel. So please do me a favor, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Let's aim for 200 likes on this video and with all that said, Let's get started. Alright, I'm gonna be moving ahead with the primitive step, that is step number one, disabling the background apps. For the, all you have to do is search for background apps and then disable let apps run in the background from here. Then type in startup and then go to startup apps. Now disable all the unwanted applications that you don't want to start up as your PC boots. This is going to save a lot of memory right from the beginning when your PC boots up. Now there is also another step that is highly recommended that is enabling the game mode settings. Now just make sure to search for game mode and you'll be coming to a page like this. Just make sure to enable game mode from here then go to graphic settings and then hit browse. Go to the install location of your Valorant, for me it's local list C, in Riot Games, in Valorant, in Live, in Valorant.exe, just hit add and as you guys can see I have added both of those Valorant files. The first one is over here, the second one is in Shooter Game, Binaries, with 64 and this one is the second file that you need to add. So for that go to options and then put high performance in both of these files. Once you're done with the step, there is another step that is highly recommended that is downloading Park Control. I'll be leaving a link to Park Control in the description below so make sure you guys go and check that out. All you have to do is run Park Control. Once you open up Park Control, you'll see a screen like this. Now all you have to do is make sure to drop down and then select with some highest performance and all of these bars will be automatically adjusted to the 100. If not, just adjust it to the 100 at max. Also click on with some dynamic boost enabled and then hit apply. Also hit OK. Now go to control panel and over here in the search box type in power and you'll be going to power options. Now once you are here make sure that bitsum highest performance is automatically checked and if not just check it over here instead of high performance and just close your control panel as well. Once done with all of those steps above, just download the Valorant FPS Boost Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Now if you guys cannot download this FPS pack, I'll show you how to download it. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be coming to a page like this. Now all you have to do is scroll down and then click here to download. It will open up an ad so just close it and then click it again and you'll be coming to a page like this. Now over here hit free download and go for a slow speed or if you want to pay you can go for fast speed. Um, but just click slow speed and you're going to be downloading the file right away. Now once done with the download you'll find the RAR file right over here. Right click over here and then extract here. Now you'll find a folder like this. You'll find five folders in there. Now all of these files are made by the Trainer, one of my very good friends. So make sure you guys go and check out his channel. I'll be leaving a link in the description below. He makes awesome packs like this. Now on the first file that says registry optimization, just double click and open it up. Now for any reason, I've also given revert file in any of the folders you guys can see. So if any of these files didn't work for you, you can revert it back by going over here. Now for the first one is the threat priorities. Now if you use an AMD processor, you guys can use the AMD. If you are using an Intel processor, you guys can use the Intel threat priority. And if you have the NVIDIA graphics card, you guys can use the NVIDIA threat priority. All you have to do is just double click and run them. Then go back to registry optimization and open up the second folder which says Win32 priority separation. Just double click and you'll be coming to a folder like this. Now over here you'll find three files. If you want a smooth gameplay, you guys can run this registry file. If you guys want a balanced gameplay, you guys can run this registry file. And if you want a lowest input delay gameplay, you guys can run this file. Now if for any reason these didn't work for you, you guys can revert it always. Now I highly recommend you guys running all of these files over here, um, these are very important and just run it away. 
once you're with that, just go to the batch file optimization over here. Just open up the delete Valorant cache. And as you guys can see, I've already done it, but it will delete most of the Valorant files. And Valorant will automatically generate them once it boots up. So make sure you guys run it before going into the game. Once you're with deleting these cache files, you have to run these large page drivers. So right click on that and run it as administrator. And once it's done, just press any key to continue and it's gonna be done. Now go back to the folder and you'll find the GPU optimization. Now if you have an AMD GPU, you guys can use these files. If you have the uh, Intel GPU, then you guys can use these settings. And if you have the Nvidia GPU, you guys can use these settings. I've given the screenshot for all of these things. So make sure you guys go and apply these settings. Once you're with that, um, there are programs. So the first one is kill.exe. You guys can run this software and it should look like this. Now, a big disclaimer to you guys, before terminating any application, make sure that you know what you're terminating because many of the times you might terminate a system application and it's gonna be doing your PC bad. So make sure you guys know what you're doing. Um, so for me, I'll just say that I'm going to be disabling Chrome. So just click on Chrome, go to settings, and then you can click on kill all. And that's going to be killing all the processes run by Chrome. So that's how we use this application to get rid of unwanted apps running in the background. The second one is the process explorer and it has a ton of things that you need to do. So just open this program over here and then go to options and then check on verify image signatures and also go to virus total and then check on virustotal.com. Just make sure both of these options are tick and you'll see an interface like this. Now there are a lot of SVC host files running. So make sure you guys disable or kill all of this SVC file which are not verified. For me, all of these files are verified by Microsoft so I don't have to kill anyone. But if you guys can see them, just right click and then click kill process. Once you're with that, you guys can close the process explorer. Now go back to programs and then open up the quick CPU. In here is going to be the downloading files for your CPU, quick CPU. So what I have to do is just open up quick CPU. And once you are here, just close this and you'll find the system power plan. Make sure to put it on bit some higher performance and then enable all of these 200. Hit apply and then go to memory and then click on clean and that's going to be cleaning a lot of memory that is currently being used. Now go back to programs and if you are an NVIDIA user, use NVClean install. If you are an Intel user, use throttle stop. I'll be leaving a link in the description below how to use throttle stop. And if you are an AMD user, use AMD cleanup utility. For me, I'm an NVIDIA user, so I'm gonna be using NVClean. Now, once you open up NVClean, just hit next. Just click on display drivers required, hit next. Then wait for it to copy the installer files. Once the installer files are done copying, you have to check a perform clean installation, hit next and then hit install and it should be done. Now go back to the Valorant FPS boost pack and then go to cleanup. Now over here, it's a really important step to run the adware cleaner. Right click on that and run it as administrator. A software like this will pop up right in front of you. All you have to do is just hit scan now and then wait for it until it scans all of these items. For me, it says zero and I am safe. And once, it, once that's done, just delete the temporary files, right click on that and hit run as administrator. And once it's done, just hit enter. And once it's all done, you're good to go. Open up Valorant and play it as you want. I promise that this FPS pack will give you better FPS and reduce most of your lags and stutters. So that's all with this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing. Also go check out Litranger. He makes awesome FPS guys like this. So show him some support as well. Let's aim for 200 likes on this video. And with all that said, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.